So I'm here with the Diamondback Keep of Ty Magna, who rides for the Rally Cycling Team, who are largely based in the US, so it's not very often we get the opportunity to have a look at these bikes. Let's take a closer look. So Magna, he opts for a size small frame, which according to the sticker on the seat tube, is suitable for riders between five foot and five foot four. If you look at the head tube here, it's quite a large affair, isn't it? And then again, a very oversized down tube all the way into the bottom bracket, which is a PF30 fitting. And then at the top of the seat stays, where they, where they join the seat tube, we've got quite a large hole there. It's quite unusual. Now the seat post, that's a head grand tour. And on top of that, we've got a specialised power saddle, which is probably one of the more unusual saddles you're going to see really on a standard road bike, because it's designed more, traditionally anyway, for that of a time trialist. Because if you look at it, it's pretty short. Also, check out how fast slammed back it is on the rails. That's at the limit. In fact, it's beyond the limit, really. Then the stem and bars, that's Head's Grand Tour as well, to complement the seat post. Uh, stem comes in at 140 mil, and those bars come in at 42 centimetres wide. Both of them are in aluminium too. So we've got SRAM Red brake levers, stroke gear levers, and they're cabled up to the SRAM Red calipers. Uh, SRAM Red front and rear derailleurs too, as well as a SRAM Red chain set. And it comes with a 55 tooth chain ring. That's the biggest I've seen here so far at the Dubai Tour. And that's paired up with a 44 tooth inner. The power meter is Quark and their D0 unit. The cranks, they're 172.5 millimeters. And they've got some speed play titanium axle pedals there too. Oh, and a SRAM chain catcher on the inside, just to keep that chain in place should you hit the rough stuff. Wheels, they're courtesy of head, and the rear hub is aluminium, whereas the front hub shell is carbon there in the center. Uh, the tires on them are Kenda SC, and the tread of them, they look a lot like Vittoria or Veloflex, so maybe there's something there. Hmm. Of course, they're tubular tyres to match up with the 60mm profile of these head wheels. The set ratios are 1128, and that is SRAM's PG1170 model. So some of the finishing touches on Magna's bike include SRAM cork bar tape. Feels a little bit spongy there, so maybe there's some gel under there too. Also, the uh, headset bearing top cap cover, that's aerodynamic as well, just to match the profile of that top tube. Nice little touch. If we look as well at the cable entry points, they are removable to make this frame actually compatible with electronic group sets. So if they were to fit EPS or DI2, it's no problem at all. And of course, if you're fitting ETAP, you could just put some blank sockets in there. So the bottle cages, they're provided by American brand Arundel, who some of you may be aware of. However, if you're not, you may have seen them previously in cobbled classics on some of the World Tour bikes. Yep, they buy them and then they rebadge them and use them. And the final little bits of add-on are here from K-Edge. So on the front, we've got a GPS mount and on the rear there, there's a little number holder which mounts just under the rear brake caliper. So the measurement from the center of the bottom bracket to the top of the saddle is 70.5. And from the tip of the saddle to the center of the bars is 59.7 centimeters. And now for the free hub sound test. Let's weigh it in, shall we? It weighs in at 7.1 kilograms. Let's go and speak to Ty Magna and find out why he's chosen these components. Okay, so I'm joined now by the owner of the bike, Ty Magna. Now, Ty, tell us about the saddle. It's quite short, it's quite far slammed back. What's the reason behind that? Yeah, I'm basically trying to get as stretched out as possible. Um, I had a little trouble. I have super long arms, super long torso, and really short legs. So, uh, whatever bike I get on, I'm always I'm always trying to get longer and whether uh, you know different you get on different teams and uh, you get different parts so you're always adjusting. And have you ever like had a bike fit and things like that and they've kind of advised that way or is it just from your own point of view that's that's how you want to be? Uh, pretty much from my own point of view I've had a few bike fits and uh, we changed some things around but I always end up coming back to my old position which is kind of funny but uh, yeah I've been doing it for a while and this is the most comfortable for me. Cool and I can't help but notice a 55 tooth chain ring on there. That's a big dog you've brought out here to Dubai. Yeah, they say these sprints are fast. So uh, I rarely use a 55 in a sprint. Um, I've put on 54s before and done pretty well, but 
Yeah, we might as well throw on the 55 and uh, just, see, just roll it. <laughs> That's right. There's not many races really, is there, with the opportunity to actually put them on. And actually, I've noticed as well, the rest of your team have got them as well, haven't they? So uh, I'm expecting to see that orange train at the front, you know, in those sprints. And uh, who knows, if we get a big tailwind as well, you guys are going to be laughing, aren't you? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you get in a tailwind on these flat roads and you have, you know, quick step on the front. These guys can, they're used to this and they they run 54s, 55s and they're pushing it all day. So, you know, throwing in a big gear sometimes helps. <laughs> <laughs> right. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Time Magnus Diamondbacker Keep. Let me know what you think of it down there in the comments. Also, remember to like and share this video with your friends too. And for two more great videos, how about down here for why don't pros slam their stems and down here for another pro bike.